Hello everybody, DCF here. Welcome back for another video. Um, I'm back from my event. I'm back from my weekend. Um, <clears throat> uh, I didn't get to see the game, but I did get to see a few highlights. Um, it was just straight up pathetic all game long. Jeff Heath, surprisingly, he got two interceptions. And then that holding call screwed, uh, screwed us out of the game. And then Des Bryant not catching a single pass. Uh, people throw to him. Hold on. Let me fix the camera really quick. Better. Anyway. So, on to the Dolphins game. Coming this Sunday, Romo's expected to play. Now, uh, really quick before I get into this. Uh, when I woke up this morning, uh, my notification on the Dallas Cowboys app said that they have officially released Brandon Whedon. Thank God. I would rather take a high school quarterback than I would take before I would take Brandon Wheaton, right? And then about I just came straight out of math class, right? Right after math class, I get this bullcrap notification that says Christy Michael and Corey White um, just got released by the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, yeah, that's cool and everything. Okay, so you mean to tell me our only running back on our team is Darren McFadden. And if he goes down, our entire running game goes down with it. I mean, who else do we have? Tyler Klutz? Dude, come on. Also, Corey White, you mean to tell me that you would take Brandon Carr over Corey White? Really? Brandon Carr... Arg he is arguably the worst defensive back we have ever had. Probably in the history of the National Football League, okay? He is so garbage. And I don't want to hear this bull crap about... He got a pick in the preseason versus the Minnesota Vikings. So, just because he got one gimme pick in the preseason versus a third-string quarterback, correct me if I'm wrong... That's going to completely erase the fact that he hasn't gotten a single legit pick this season. And he's never gotten a pick last season in the 2014 season. Okay, yeah, that makes... Because that makes perfect sense, right? I don't know why Jerry Jones just doesn't cut Brandon Carr. Also, uh, really quick... Uh, crap, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the draft. First round pick, I want a quarterback. Second round pick, I want a quarterback. Third round pick, guess what? I want a running back. Suck! I want a quarterback. This team cannot run without a good, at least a somewhat decent quarterback. I mean, damn, dude. Brent Wing, damn sure can't get the job done. Matt Castle did a way better job than Brandon Whedon, to be honest, but he can't get anything done either. Just straight garbage. Now, I've been saying this ever since uh, Romo went down in that Green Bay game all the way back in January when he went down with a knee injury and they pointed the camera at Brandon Whedon. I was like, oh man, here goes the season. Our season is going to end in the hands of Brandon Whedon, dude. And my, and my dad wants to sit back and tell me, Oh, don't worry, dude. We'll win this game. You know, we'll go to the NFC Championship. I'm like, dude, Tony Romo is the heart and soul of this Dallas Cowboys team. Tony Romo is the engine of this Cowboys offense. And these past seven weeks, this entire... 2015 season has just proved it, alright? I don't want to hear this bullcrap about Jason Witten, Dez Bryant, Darren McFadden, offensive line, defense, uh, Byron Jones. If it was up to me, if I was the owner, you would see nobody on my team if he wasn't a quarterback. I would release Dez Bryant. Uh, Greg Hardy, Jason Witten, Cole Beasley, Terrence Williams. I'll just have an entire team made of quarterbacks. All right. So that this, with the, if Tony Romo goes down, we're like the Philadelphia Eagles. 
All right, we're screwed on quarterbacks no matter who we pick up. All right? Make an entire team of quarterbacks just so we can never run to this bullcrap issue ever again. This this situation this quarterback situation has been killing us for Lord knows how many years, dude. We have nobody to back up Tony Romo. All right? And people I'm so sick of Cowboy fans constantly doing this, overhyping the next quarterback that comes in. You know, when Tony Romo went down, I just knew that these Cowboy fan pages would make some corny ass uh, hashtag about Brandon Whedon or, um, you know, in Whedon we trust or some bull crap like that. They're going to totally overhype him, and then he's going to suck the entire season. And look what happened. Same thing with Matt Castle. I was like, oh boy, here we go again. And he started sucking. Did a better job, but he started sucking. Alright, as soon as I saw that Brandon Ween hashtag called Whedon Boys, you know, as in Brandon Ween, I was like, yep, there goes the entire season. Yesterday, I saw Simus's video, and he could not have said it any more perfectly, dude. In my opinion, alright, if a team has to keep on relying on their division to keep on screwing up after screw up after screw up after screw up, as if you had to rely on that, then you don't deserve to make the playoffs. In my opinion, nobody in our division deserves to make the playoffs. They suck, dude. Every single team in our division. And people are starting to overhype Tony Romo, thinking that he's a second coming of Jesus. It's like, dude, Tony Romo, you can't put that much pressure on him, dude. You can't put that much pressure. He, he may go 2-8. and eight. We might go 2-8. and eight. Let's expect the worst out of things. And I saw this one post that says, if, uh... If the Giants can lose their next three games, if the Eagles can lose their next two of three, and if the Redskins can lose their next two of three, and if we can win our next three, then <clears throat> we'll be tied the entire division at like a five and seven record or somewhere around there. I'm like, again, we can't rely on the division to keep screwing up. That's number one. Number two, you expect us on Thanksgiving Day, we suck on preseason. I mean, I mean, uh, Thanksgiving. We are garbage on Thanksgiving, all right? No matter who we go up against. You expect us to defeat the Carolina Panthers, an undefeated Carolina Panthers squad. Hopefully, we can get our first win since week two. I, I love my boys, dude. I've been a Cowboys fan ever since I was born, man. I was born in Arlington. All right, I was here before the new stadium was even here. All right. I'm a Cowboys fan for life. I want to see my team win, dude, but you got to keep it real. Stop lying to yourself, all right? Quit thinking you're a real fan. If you guys don't know what I mean, go check out my last video. Uh, I love you guys. Let's go, Cowboys. Uh, if it was up to me, I would sit Tony Romo out for the rest of the season. I mean, there's no point in trying, dude. I love my team, man, but that's just too high of a risk. I'll catch you guys later, alright?